Right then, ladies and gents, here we go. Look, just been unloaded off a trailer outside. Toyota Hilux, Mark II, I think, this one. Now, been entered by its original owner. So, um, Simon bought the truck new and bought it, I think he said, with his company or through the company or whatever it was. And very shortly after purchase, took the body off, uh, ordered a load of bits, took the body off, welded all the holes in the chassis when it was brand new don't forget brand new so all the all the holes that let all the water and salt and everything else into the chassis he plugged it if you like welded them all up uh, and then put gallons of of underbody protection on the chassis the underside of the body in the you know wings every, you name it it got dosed in it and this is the result so here we are all these years later after he's then put I'd dread to think how much the kit was. It'd be thousands, wouldn't it? Wheels alone would be thousands. So um, so he built it and he did sell it and then he's bought it back and he's kept it all this time. So the V5 states uh, a small handful of owners. However, he's, he's a bit of spec here. Look, there we go. Look, Toyota Hilux Mark II. Um, let's just start from call. Right, there's a button to press for a loud, quiet exhaust. Uh, he put the engine in it um 3.5 um 15 by 15 alloy wheels t6 aluminium wheels racing corbu racing seats it just goes on and on and on sky jacker springs twin shocks bilstein anti-tramps new clutch front calipers engine gearbox uh it just look it just goes on i'll take some photographs of the spec because um it is incredible really so um it's arrived with me here i met um i met the the vendor I met a friend of his at a rally and um, uh, we got on really well. So um, if you're watching it, Barry, well done. Good to hear from you. And, uh, and now we've got uh, we've got this here. So we've got a V5 here and we've got a more detailed spec list here. Look, um, ordered the Ilux brand new from the Toyota dealership in Milton Keynes. Um, so I shall take some photographs of all this because I can't read it all in this here video. All I do know is the truck, it must have cost an arm and a leg to build, mustn't it? He did say his neighbours all thought he was balmy, absolutely balmy, uh, buy a new truck and then take it to bits. But let's be honest, thank the Lord he did, because look, he has saved it, hasn't he? And all right, it might not be your cup of tea, but he still saved it. So she's got a little bit of corrosion around the tub, look, little bits. But generally speaking, she's good. Uh, bonnet pull, there we go, look. 38,000 miles, he says he's correct. He's known the truck all his life, so he should know, shouldn't he? So uh, let's assume that he's that he is indeed correct. He says he's been all over the country in it. Yeah, we'll grab it, Mick. Mick's going to grab a key. He's been all over the country in it um, for holidays and weekends and whatever else. Uh, so uh, engine he said he put in in the which he would of course eighties, three point five V eight correct bell housing. Ordered on, uh, uh, ordered from the Australia, did he say, or States, to make that engine with that gearbox. So that's all proper, on carbs, lovely. And look at that, he's made a lovely job, hasn't he? He's gone in there really well. But more importantly than all that, look at the condition of the inner wings, etc. Front edge of the bonnet, everywhere you look, brill, absolutely brilliant. Solid as a rock, isn't she? Mick's just been and got a key for us. Underside, as he quite rightly said, is indeed as solid as a rock. There you go, she's away. And there she is. Oh, there you go, he's found the loud button, hasn't he? Yeah. He's a noisy toad, isn't he? So there you go, guys. A very special truck. We'll take some photographs of the uh, of the spec list, etc. And um, look at that. It is very, very 80s, isn't it? You know, let's be fair. I remember being a little kid thinking, oh, get me one of them. Got to have one of them. Toyota right looks on a big lift kit and big wheels. Maybe not quite as big as this one. But as I say, I can remember being a little kid thinking, oh, get me one. Got to have one. So uh, there you go. It's your chance. Come and have a closer look. Thank you.